Hey everybody, Derek here. Welcome once again to the dungeon. Excuse me while I slip my coffee. <clears throat> Figured I'd go ahead and do this uh, video really quick for uh, our new acquaintance on uh, Google Plus for uh, for Chuck. You know who you are. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can post it on Google Plus for you just in case. Um, this is basically how I set up my um, DC powered Tesla coil basically using a ZVS driver, an AC flyback, a full bridge rectifier. I'm pretty sure that you can just put in a single diode and have this half wave uh, rectified. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. Then we have uh, this is basically a filter um, to, to smooth this out even more. Um, don't necessarily need to have it. But I threw it in there anyway because I, ha I have it. So it's basically filtering that high voltage uh, converted DC now to smooth it out. And then we're going to have a charging choke here, L1. I basically use the secondary remote, for example, you know. Uh, I actually use this one right here, the secondary, or I think it was the sec either the secondary or the primary. I think it was the secondary, and what I did was I shorted out um, the, uh, the primary. I'm pretty sure if you look back at my at my video of, of it running and I give a really quick overview, I'll probably tell you which one I uh, I shorted out. I forget. My apologies. But uh, that's going to be L1. That's L2. I just drew this out just now. And L3. So that's your, prim that's your primary coil. Secondary coil, obviously, for the Tesla coil, which is RF. Earthed. So... You got your uh, charging choke. You have your tank capacitor. In my case, it was 18.4, 11 kV. So, my typical, if this was an NST, my typical um, value for the tank capacitor, which would would be about 36.8 nanofarads. In this case, it's halved. Um, it, it all it all kind of varies because you have to. It's a bit tricky to know what kind of frequency this is running at. It's it's a it's a bit of a game. I just um, I happened to get lucky. I could probably be better, but it's working pretty damn good for what it is for right now. So I basic whatever whatever value I had for my NST um, set up, I halved it. So that's just one string. There's your spark gap. And there's your primary, and there's your secondary. So in my case, my secondary or yeah, my secondary. Um, on my primary, let's see here. I had to go down or go up one tap. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on the six tap. Normally, I'd be in between four and five, you know, right there. So I had to go up one tap. And then, as you can see, there's my setup right here for the for the ZVS. And these are just two AC flybacks that I put in series, so I can get some more voltage out of them. There's the ZVS setup, and this is the uh, capacitor that goes across it which was 720 nanofarads at 400 volts and here's the the full bridge rectifier right here that I um, I built a long while back and Sparky suggested um, it's just a bunch of 1N uh, 4007s um, yeah so I, I would have to think that's uh, it's quite it's quite a bit of them um, to get you know up to uh, that amount of voltage I mean you can you can kind of see that it's Pretty ridiculous, 80 kV. So each each leg of that full wave rectifier, that'd be about uh, I think that's 80. Yeah, that's that's 80 diodes because the uh, the one in 4007 is uh, a one one kV one amp uh, diode. So it's 80 of them. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. I I also use this one right here, this other AC um, flyback. The deal is, it doesn't matter what kind of capacitor you use. It doesn't matter if they're you know high quality like this or saltwater caps. I don't care. It will not charge with normal high frequency AC coming out of these. It has to be rectified. It will not charge. That's why I um, I, I posted on Google Plus to you um, to just hook you know your your flyback across um, a capacitor and and basically arc out the capacitor to see if it charges. If it doesn't charge, you killed the internal diode. I, I 
I hate DC flybacks. They're garbage. I'd rather use these and just rectify them myself. It's way better off. I killed only one of these before, and that's because they were, they were too close together. That's about it. Um, yeah, there's not that much else to to say. The the, the charging choke is, is also pretty handy, so if you do have a mop, uh, go ahead and throw it on there. And I, I'm pretty sure it was a secondary that I used. And short, and you're just going to short out the primary here. These two terminals, you're just going to short those across. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I wish you the best of luck, man. <laughs> I hope this, I hope this kind of helps out, so... You know, I'll kind of put it right there. That way, if you wanted to copy it down or just look at it, and I'll I'll go ahead and put in the specs into a Tesla map, and I'll just double double check all your all your um, um, calculations and see if we can get this get this guy going for you. Yeah? So, cheers, everybody.